right, we're going to start with uh, Titus Wall, who also had a big interception today in the scrimmage. And uh, I'll let you guys ask questions as we get into it. But uh, Titus, you just want to start off by talking about, you know, being able to get some hitting in today, obviously your big yeah. interception, and just uh, how, how it was to get the first scrimmage in the books. Man, to get the first scrimmage out the way, man, it feels great, you know. Just be able to go out there and just execute everything that we've been learning in practice, everything we put in the film room. And so just able to just connect all the pieces together and let loose for like a kid in the candy park, man. So it's real fun. So I love the scrimmages. I treat it like game day every time. So I'm looking forward to the next one already to build off of this one and improve off of that. It seems like the defense was getting pretty fired up today. Just how confident do you feel um, with your guys' defense? Oh, well, uh, you know, the coaching staff, they, they instill a lot of confidence in us because they make sure that we know what we're doing at all times. And so when you know what you do, you can play faster and you have that confidence. And you know what I'm saying? It just helps you play a lot faster, make a lot of plays. And so as we keep building on, hopefully our confidence keeps getting higher and higher so we can make more plays as the season continues. Titus, you guys got a, you got a little bit of depth back there, some new pieces in that secondary. Uh, just how how has everything been, been just kind of getting acclimated to everybody else? Man, I love it. You know, like you just said, new pieces to the secondary, but it feels like I've been playing with these boys for a minute now because we just got that connection. We all got that bond, and we just clicked instantly when we all got here. And so, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? We can just build off of that and keep making plays and just keep going out there and establish that brotherhood throughout the season. It seemed like uh... – just watching you on the sideline after you got that pick, the coach told you something was coming like that if you did something right there. Uh, just kind of what were, you, what were you looking for and uh, when he made that pass across the middle? Uh, you know, uh, in that particular coverage, my uh, responsibility was just to read the quarterback. I had the middle zone, you know what I'm saying? So I was just following the quarterback's eyes the whole time, did, out, did as I was coached to do, and the ball came right to me. And the rest is history. Some good open field tackling from the defense as well as from you guys. Uh, just uh, how much have you been working on that and how much have you seen uh, the guys grow kind of at that part of the game? You know, uh, tackling, we haven't been able to really full contact tackle in practice. We had a couple periods uh, throughout the week. But like you just said, today we was able to tackle just throughout the whole scrimmage. And so that was real good. Uh, we can also improve on our tackling. But what we, what we put on the field today was we did some good stuff as far as tackling and wrapping up. We can always improve off of that though, always. Was it just kind of taking it out on the other guys finally that you're able to tackle? What kind it's of is like, that? like letting a dog off a leash, that's all it was. You letting a dog off a leash, tell him sick and we go get it. And that's all it is to it. <laughs> just for the defensive guys, you have a lot Coach, everybody's new back there. Uh, just kind of how has it been to learn from those guys? Uh, I'm sure you you were sick of Zooming them for most of the offseason, mm -hmm. but uh, being able to take instruction from them, and including from a guy like William Gay who played in the NFL and had some success. Man, I love it. I love it. I, I try to treat it like I'm a sponge, absorb everything that they tell me, you know, because they just, they just throw knowledge at us. And I'll be, I'll be a fool not to accept that knowledge. And so every chance I take, every chance that we get as a defense, we all get that knowledge as much as we can and apply it to the field so we can be the best players we can be. Anybody got anything else for Titus? Yeah, I got one question. Okay. Yes, as a defense, what do you guys pride yourself on the most? Out here, I'll hustle. Bear swarm. Out here, I'll hustle. Out here, That's I'll hustle. a good motto. Out here, I'll hustle. That's it right there. Very good. All right, Titus, we'll let you go, man. Thank you so much. Great job yeah, today. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for your time. Appreciate Thanks, you. Titus. Wait, we're just uh, we're waiting on Jaden. You want me to go ahead and put a uh, coach on here? Or you want to wait for a little bit? Uh, we can get coach if, if we're waiting on Jaden. That's fine. Okay. Let me go grab him. All right. Might as well make white with a few more minutes for Jaden Johnson. So you, we waved this off. Found a nice tree to stand under. I read uh, <laughs> a lot out here at Drury. <laughs> I lost my car, though. I would be sitting in there, but I don't know where that is. It's not good. <laughs> I've been here for five minutes. Hey, how we doing? 
How you doing, Coach? I'm doing good. I guess they want me to go before Jaden, so they're looking for him. He might have snuck out. <laughs> Very good. Well, let's let's start with you. Just maybe just to some general observations about today's uh, first scrimmage, and we'll go to some questions after that. Yeah, I thought you know they went out and played hard. It was very competitive on both sides of the ball, and uh, we tried to work our special teams in there. We got a lot of work to do there to improve on, uh, but I did like the energy and and the uh, uh, hustle and fire that everybody played with. I thought we made some plays on offense, um, but not as many big plays as I was hoping to see. Uh, and and you know I think some of that was the defensive secondary is pretty good, and, and they tackled pretty well for the most part. So. We got a lot to work on, uh, but it was good to get the, what I call testing in, you know, we've been teaching and practicing. Today was a test, so it'll be fun to watch the video and, and see how everyone grades out. Yeah, coach, just kind of what are you looking for in a scrimmage when you guys go out there? Uh, uh, if the offense does something good, the defense isn't, or if the defense does something good, your offense isn't. Just kind of what are you looking for as a head coach? Yeah, that's kind of how it always is. You never can be satisfied, that's for sure, because you, Defense makes a play, you worry about it offensively. And when the offense makes the plays, you're wondering, you know, what did we do wrong on defense? Uh, but it's the time where coaches get off the field and let the players play out there and, and perform. And, you know, it's, it's time for them to not look around for what their coach has to say after a play. It's to find the huddle or find the football, get lined up. You know, the number one thing we wanted to, to work on was basically making sure we're aligned properly. We did our assignment and we played with great effort. And I think when we grade the video, that's what we're, we're really going to talk about and try to learn and, and try to be more consistent. Yeah, just uh, watching the offense, uh, of course, Jaden's kind of the focus for a lot of us. Uh, and just seeing him in live reps there, he was calm. The feet are calm when he stands tall in the pocket, gets the ball out of his hands quick. Just what are you liking from him when you're seeing him go with some live reps? Yeah, I think he's going to be really good. Um, you know, I it's hard for me because I've known him for so long. I don't feel like he's a, a freshman, so I expect a lot out of him. Um, and we're asking him to do a lot. And. And uh, he likes the challenge. He likes to, you know, um, have to understand what the protections are doing. He likes to have to understand what every position is doing. Um, and he's a, he's a guy that can really throw it. I like the way he can throw it. And I thought that, you know, Vic did a good job and, and Lorenzo did a good job um, catching the ball. It was good to see Jock Carter make some plays. And, you know, we didn't have all our receivers out there today. But uh, I think that that can be a really good group for us. I think one of the things I'm going to be interesting to see on on the video is if we can, you know, control the line of scrimmage a little bit better, particularly in running the football. You bring up giving him a lot to do, uh, just seeing a ton of different looks on offense, whether it's under center, pow different pistol formations, spread. Um, it's, it's it seems completely new for a ton of these guys who have just kind of been running something. Uh, not as not as complicated Bobby Petrino offense as they have in the past. How are they and Jaden kind of adapting to that? Yeah, I think they enjoy it. You know, I think they like the challenge and the, and the different things they get to do and different positions they get to align in. You know, I, I think it's been good for us, uh, you know, with Vic and, and now Lorenzo of being able to play inside and outside and work different matchups. And, um, you know, those guys have really absorbed the offense and, and they work extremely hard. You know, they, they took a lot of reps today and it was nice and hot out there for them. Um, and they had to focus and concentrate when they were tired. So that helped us a lot. Uh, Coach, one player that caught my eye today was Mikey Miles. Uh, he's a true freshman. What has he shown you over the summer and over the time you've spent together to earn a spot on that starting defense amongst a lot of those uh, older veteran players? Yeah, so Mikey would be kind of like the Jaden Johnson on defense. We expect a lot out of him. We put him in, in a position where he has to know a number of different uh, positions to play. Since the day he got here, he was kind of like a, a different uh, mindset, one that was going to get on the field right away. Uh, and he's, he's been up to every single challenge. He can really run, and tackle. Um, I don't know if we've been able to see exactly how good of a pass rusher he is yet. 
uh, but from his high school video and the things they did with him, I think he, he's going to be able to really rush the passer, which helps us a lot to, to have that versatility. Now, was he a player that you had to kind of carve out a role to make sure he got on the field, or did he fit a role that you had already envisioned uh, in that defense? Yeah, well, when he first got here, we, we started him at kind of two different positions, playing the nickel and playing safety. Um, and then we decided to uh, make him focus just mainly on safety. And then in one of our dime packages, he kind of plays a linebacker slash dime. So uh, we are asking him to do a lot. And he's a, he's a really good student of the game. He really enjoys it. And he gives us a lot of energy and fire on defense. He's for a young kid, he's, he's not shy at all. So after today, do you feel like you like where you're at right now, um, you know, as you guys are approaching that game against OU? Yeah, I think I feel like, you know, we've got a long way to go. You know, we've got still three weeks and we've got to, we've got to really look at it on, on uh, Monday as far as the coaching staff and see, you know, do we start cutting back or do we keep, uh, you know, building it? Um, I think that's the huge decision that we need to make because I, I really feel like we got to start zoning in on an identity on, on offense in, in particular and in the run game um, mostly on that. Defensively, I think we've got some older, mature guys that can handle um, a number of things that we're doing. And we've got some really good leadership back there that makes the calls and, you know, having Titus and, and, the, and the things that he can do, and then Zach being able to play both corner and nickel really helps us a lot. And, and uh, the communication has been good defensively. You brought up not being able to uh, go down the field as much as you thought you'd be able to on offense today. Uh, a lot of shorter throws, uh, guys on crossing routes. Uh, did, did you did you make that more of the defense, or just kind of uh, Jaden just taking what he was what was available? Yeah, I think it's a, a combination of a number of things. We're down a couple of receivers, so we weren't able to rotate them in there and throw some fresh legs out there while the corners got tired. Um, so we had to do that, and then also uh, you know to be able to protect. I thought the defensive front has some really good pass rushers. And, you know, we had to mix it up and, and move the quarterback around a little bit, take some quick passing game, take some pressure off the offensive front to get the ball out of our hand. And that's another thing. We noticed uh, there's a lot of rotational guys on that defensive line. They were looking good today. How are you feeling about your offensive line right now? Yeah, we got some work to do, you know, offensively. And, and uh, we haven't had everybody together. We've got a lot more of them back now. So we've, we've got to try to get some continuity and get guys to work together and get to know each other. Um, but it hasn't been that way yet. You know, we've had guys in and out and um, different, different positions. So we're trying to really figure out exactly where they play together, how it works all together on the offensive front. And we've got some work to do here in three weeks. We've got to get a lot better. Anybody else have anything for coach? I think I saw Jaden peek his head in here, so uh, All right. I'll go get him. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Thank it. You, coach. Thanks, Coach. Jaden, how are you doing? I'm doing all right, Mr. Conhart. Very good, man. Well, hey, thanks for taking a couple minutes here to talk to these guys. Uh, maybe we could just start off by talking about, you know, getting that first scrimmage out of the way and uh, kind of dusting off the arm a little bit today. Uh yeah, it was just you know it was just great to be out there, be out there flying around with the guys, you know just being able to come together as a team and see how we look, you know just the first day of us like actually scrimmaging instead of just practicing, practicing, practicing so much, you know we were just able to come out and just execute what we were taught to do really. Yeah, Jaden, we talked back when you signed. Uh, just how are you feeling, uh, everything going now that you're on the field, practicing all the time, repping with the ones? Just how are you feeling uh, yourself uh, going with the offense right now? Uh, I feel myself, you know, fitting in a lot around the system. You know, it's Coach P, he throwing a lot at us right now. You know, I mean, I'm just soaking it up. We all just soaking it up as a team, getting better, building team chemistry. Basically, that's all we can do, really. So, you know, we just – coming together as a team, pick, finding out, like, what is our identity as a team? Are we a passing team? Are we a running team? You know, so we just coming together, just trying to figure out what are we. 
you got to feel like you're a passing team, right? Quarterback? Uh, yes, sir. Most likely. More than likely, yes, sir. With me being a quarterback, most likely I want to throw the ball every down. But, you know, we got to establish a run game. So we got to be able to establish that first before we can throw the ball. So. Yeah, today just getting a look at you guys. Uh, not too much stuff down the field from you today. Uh, is that just uh, the corners doing a good job or are you taking what you what was given to you? Um, just taking what the defense gave me, really taking the easy dinks and don'ts, getting moving the chain, staying positive, staying ahead of the chains, making sure we don't get behind. So really that was just something that we just came up with going into this scrimmage. Just take what the defense give us and just execute and keep moving forward. Sorry, my mic was muted. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, early on, you were really uh, – you made a couple connections with uh, DeMaurier. Was yeah. that kind of the game plan going in? Is he the number one read on a lot of those uh, passing plays, or was he just so open that you couldn't pass up throwing him the ball? Uh, no, sir. Um, what, what I'm taught – what we're taught to do at QB, we're taught to go through our progression, find open receivers, read the defense, being able to put the ball in playmaker's hands. So – you know, me and Vic, me and Demoria, we just connect a lot on most of our throws, but mainly our reads are to go through our progressions, find the open guys, and get them the ball and let them do what they do. How ready do you feel right now? I mean, you're a redshirt freshman going in your first year, looking like a starting quarterback right now. Uh, just gonna, you have Oklahoma in a few weeks, and I know that's something you were excited about when you signed here. Uh, yes, sir, it was. It's something that I, um, that I was always excited about, always coming to a school, playing another team that's bigger than our conference, and just going out and just showing, like, what, what our team is capable of doing, basically. Just being able to show, like, we're, we're a different team than what we were in the past, and just me stepping in and taking on the leadership role and everybody just coming together, really, as a team. So we, we feel like we're ready and prepared, even though we have more work to do. We feel like we're getting better each and every day as a team to reach our team goal going into week one. How much do you like that receiving group? It seems to be a pretty deep and talented group once you get all them out there. Uh, yeah, I love them boys to death. I love all of them. You know, those are my guys. We, we do everything together. We always getting work in, always hanging out, talking football, any chance we get. You know, we just, we just a tight group and we always going we, we to make, make it happen. You were just talking about having a leadership role and, you know, as a freshman out there, you look really calm, cool, and collected. So, you know, just what, like, as a freshman taking on a leadership role, just, you know, what's, what's that just say about, you know, you as a player? Um, me as a player, really, just being able to go out there and just play football like I've been doing all my life, really. It's not too much to it. Just go out there, play the game I've been playing, play at my pace, slow it down, play confident, play cool forget about the next play that happened last and just move forward, really. I've just been playing the same game I've been playing since I was a kid, so I don't try to make it – I don't try to overcomplicate it as much as I would. How do you stay so calm back there, just watching your feet and everything? And you have big guys running after you, and I'm scared – I'd be scared, but, I mean, you're just staying in there, standing tall and looking – and uh, finding guys pretty quickly. How are you able to do that? Uh, with well, my size and my stature, you know, my high school coach once told me, you big enough to stand in the pocket, take a lick, get up, move on to the next play. So I just feel like that's what next level quarterbacks are doing. So I try to model my game after those guys, stand in the pocket, cool, calm, and collective, read the defense, go through my progression, deliver a ball. Every now and again, you might have to take a hit in the chin. You, you got to learn how to get up, dust it off, get ready to go for the next play. Have we seen you at full speed running yet? Uh, just uh, it seems it seems to be there's been some half speed out there, or, uh, just um, calm, calm little runs. It seemed like there was one run today where you kind of turned it on a little bit to that. Uh, but have we seen your fastest yet? Uh, no, sir. Yeah, you you all haven't. You know, since practice, quarterbacks aren't live, so I, I I give my full burst, make sure I finish through the end zone, so I won't get yelled at. You know, but. More than likely, when you guys see an actual live game, you all get to see me full speed. Jane, thanks so much, man. We appreciate your time and the great job today. Yes, sir. Thank you all.